Right, back on again. We're doing a bit more now. I've just passed the fork. Not going to Banwell, so we're going up this way. Um, I got a feeling there was something in this place once. There's something about it and some of the plants. Um, it might have been part of an estate once. And it's, I've also found it a bit creepy. I, I don't know why. I don't feel like that everywhere I go. There's just something about this wood. Yeah, and look at that. Look at that there. Look. That mud. Look. You do get a lot of that, you know. <sighs> yeah, yeah. We'll walk round it. Yes, yeah, often it is quite often. It's going to rain tomorrow. that will be terrible again. I mean, we've had three or four days of rain. You can just imagine what that was like before we had our sunny spell. Just imagine what that was like. It was like a swamp. No, there's just something very haunting about this wood. I can't really explain it. As such. So, yeah. I've been up there before. Yeah, there's... Uh, it's a weird thing about this, this place. There's a little hut here. I don't know what that is. It's just a, where they keep tools or something like that. But they don't really like you going in the woods. Whoever it is owns it. Now over there, see over there? That's Banwell Wood. Which I've been in and explored. Where they got the tower inside. Which closed over the Covid period. And then... I am hoping one day I'll look it up again to see if they open. Let's try and get over there. And the caves. I'd love to go down in the caves. See, look at that old spooky hole down there. Another track up through there, look. That'll come out somewhere. Horses come here. And we come out. Yeah, it's just a bit boggy around here, see? But fortunately, we someone's made a bit of a path through. Yeah, there's just there's some eerie about this. I don't get it in all woods. I don't feel like it on the Quantox, for example, even though I know there are spirits around. But this one is some... Um, I don't know. Can't explain it really. Not absolutely spooky. Not like Depton up in Suffolk. That was really, really scary. But you imagine all the people over the years and before these trees were here, what was here? And how many people have walked this old track? This is an old track from Banwell. Banwell's creepy. Banwell's very creepy. It's a real medieval place and it's very, very creepy. <laughs> the whole village feels spooked to me. <sighs> right, turn off for a minute. Lovely views here. Lovely trees. We've just walked up. We're still doing the plantation area. Gorgeous trees over there. I'm not quite sure what they are. They're very, very beautiful. I don't know if they are ash. But if they are, they've survived well. I remember stopping here years ago. I don't know if somebody still lives here. Or whether it's empty now. It looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Might not be though, see? Might just be out for the day. Yeah, I remember sitting here once and having a picnic. I don't think anyone was in it then. But somebody is because they've put their washing out. Yeah. Just felt empty. Nice place to live though. Look at the views. Yeah, that's my sort of log cabin, I'm afraid.
is it? Yeah. I'd live there. As long as Tesco's delivered. <laughs> I don't know if I would now. I think I'd like to live somewhere like that, but... I am a townie as well. I've got used to having shops very close by and... You know, and some interaction. But I think, yeah, if you've got a car, dead easy, isn't it? You'd have to have a guard dog, though, wouldn't you? I've been out here. Now, we're coming up to what I call the keeper's cottages in a minute. There's a couple of little cottages along here. And, um... If we carry on down this track... Later, we have to come back up it and turn up. <coughs> Sorry, I might have swallowed a fly then. I expect they get people spying. Not spying, having a look, don't you? They've probably got a camera up. Bound to. Interesting. Of course, this cottage here has been done up quite a few times. Not like it was when I first took pictures of it. There were, I think, there were more windows in it at the front here. And they might have even done an extension. I think it doesn't look like the same place. Um, but it's still quite cute, quaint. It was called the Keeper's Cottage. I think it was this one, or is it the next one down? Might be the next one down. Ah, Lee's Cottage, this one's called Lee's. That's right, it's the next one. Got gorgeous views from here. Right over to Crook's Peak, look. Yeah, right over there, look. Look at that lovely view. Over there, look. Yeah, nice little camper phone. So I, I know that. I think this this is the cottage, yeah. But they've they've done this one up as well. So you've got that one back there, which has been done up good. It's saving it, isn't it? Saving it from ruin. Saving them from ruin. I mean, it's just... yeah, I'm sure it had a window in it once. Sure, it did there. Keeper's cottage. That's it. We got to go back up there later. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it had a window. I'm sure there was. I've got my old photos of it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what we're doing, we're going to go. This is the hill we've got to go down. But we've got to come back up it. Right? Yeah. Unfortunately. I must be mad, really, going down there and then I've got to walk up it. Oh. Yeah, it's nice to be able to have the chance to have your own home in it and out here and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Just be grateful for what you've got, Sheila. You've got your health, you're enjoying walking, you have got a roof over your head, you've got the internet, you've got Zara next door, your neighbours are okay, right? A couple of people struggle with pot. Apart from that, 
Oh, this little rabbit just ran across. Don't know if the camera picked up on it. Little baby rabbit. Oops, I haven't seen rabbit for a long time. Anyway, we've got to come back up this, but as you can see, it is in the shade, which will help. And I'm hoping when I get around this corner, there's going to be a blaze of blue, a haze of blue, and maybe white. But, and because the bluebells are out further up, so I can't imagine them would have faded yet. But I'm coming here just for that. Oh, there's somebody coming. Let me get up there at the way. All right. I don't know if that was a bloke I saw a minute ago. Yeah, I can see some bluebells now. Oh, let's just take a picture. Might not be anything spectacular, you know. Might not be anything spectacular. I might not go all the way down, everyone. What I'll do, I'll go down to that bit there. Because if, if it's not going to be massively spectacular i won't go all the way down i don't need to i just go to the corner because normally i'm coming up this way after i've been to come back either i've been to crook's peak and sometimes i divert this way um, not very often because of this hill but i also when i'm cycled i've cycled down it and i've cycled up it well i've pushed my bike up it but they are looking a bit faded, aren't they? They are looking a bit faded, I'd say. And there's hardly any out over there. I'd say they've more or less peaked here. But I was thinking about the wild garlic. Was wild garlic here as well? So I don't, I'm don't. i not going to walk all the way down. I'm going to get to that corner and see what I can see. Then there'll be another corner, Sheila, and you still won't be able to see. And you'll have to go to the bottom. No, I don't intend to. They're looking a bit... I mean, that looks nice. If you look at that scene there, in the haze there, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Coming up, you might get a better perspective than going down. <sighs> Might do. I think we might not bother. Do you? Yeah. And then someone said, well, if you just carried on, Sheila, the wild garlic was crazy down the bottom. It's not hitting me. It's not hitting me. And I don't know if there was wild garlic. I think... I'm just going to leave it here. Do you? Yeah. I'm not walking all the way down there just to see a few garlic flowers. I saw plenty up in the wood at the top. And it's not hitting me like it did that first time. But it could be down there. What do you think? Do you want to do it? You've got to walk all the way up. Oh, I don't know. It's not hitting me. I just think it would be just like this down there. Leave it. We're going to do Hutton Wood instead. You ain't got so far to walk back up. Over and out.